Hello everyone, welcome back to Week in Review. They say when your memories exceed your dreams, the end is near. We've seen the ongoing bans of Triple C rallies and the signing into law by Mr. Mnangagwa of the unfortunately named Patriotic Act. This demonstrates that there are those amongst us who are living in a repressive past. They've run out of ideas, solutions and a clear vision for our nation. They're now relying on the wicked ways of the past, the ways of the oppressor, because their end is near. And as our chain champion in chief, advocate Nelson Chamisa has said, this is the year of the citizens' victory for change. Our dream of a new great Zimbabwe for everyone is at hand. Our dreams outweigh any underhanded tactics set to distract us from unleashing a land of promise, opportunity, and victory for everyone. We won't be distracted or deterred from reaching citizens in every community across the length and breadth of Zimbabwe. If they say we can't gather, we'll speak to every individual we can find one-on-one. -on -one. If they say we cannot have a rally, we'll knock on every door in the community. If they say we can't speak of change, we'll write it in our hearts and show it in the ballot box come 23 August 2023. We won't be stopped. Against a wave of police bans again this week, our chain champion in chief met with citizens deep in Gokwe and they too have endorsed the dream of a Zimbabwe that works for everyone. And now all roads converge to the Midlands province, Mkoba Stadium, on Sunday 16 July at 11 a.m. where our chain champion in chief will lay out the road ahead as we march towards the citizens' victory. Remember, a big win for the Triple C is a big win for everyone. A win for Job Sikala. A win for Jacob Ngarivume. A win for the Zinasu Five. A win for you. A win for me. And a win for Zimbabwe. 23 August. 